Mike Lindell was a former crack addict who became the owner of a pillow company. And he says he's not on crack anymore. But has anyone checked? Because I'll be honest, all signs point to him being back on the rocks. Hello, everyone. This is Mike Lindell, the CEO of MyPillow. Now, I don't know how much Mike Lindell is worth, but he's got a lot of money and apparently a lot of time, and he's committed to wasting it all. So this documentary he uh, produced claims that there is showing evidence of voter fraud, but it doesn't. It has a lot of interviews and folks who claim to be you know, close to the election and saw fraud with their own eyes, but most of it's been disproven. But the, the thing I can't understand is where he found the time to, you know, be able to create this in the first place. It's a three hour documentary. And, you know, what it really just shows is that some people will believe, you know, whatever they want to believe, especially if the money to produce an entire documentary. For me, the, the real dispute about the election and whether or not states was whether states are election laws and whether or not they were changed properly. I mean, that's it. That is the only valid argument there. But of course, as you might have noticed, we had a, uh, a little bit of a pandemic. So it may kind of make sense that these rules were changed on the fly. But there was no actual vote manipulation. There were no machines changing votes. Like nothing like that actually happened. The only people who have been caught actually committing voter fraud are folks like Lynn Wood. Yes, Lynn Wood, uh, who was Trump's one of his stop the steal attorneys in Georgia. Uh, was, you know, claiming election fraud in that state, but apparently maybe he knows because has he has experience in committing fraud himself, and apparently he decided to vote in two places at the same time. But, uh, yeah, maybe he, he was like, well, if I can do it, anyone can. Well, you got caught there, Lin, Linwood, so sorry about that one. But yes, also there's a, you know, there is no widespread voter fraud going on. Also, a few dead people, you know, were somehow able to cast their ballot from beyond the grain beyond the grave, excuse me, but very few, not nearly enough to overturn the election. I actually saw a 60 minutes inter uh, interview on this with Brad Raffensperger and, you know, Trump said, you know, well, we need to find the thousands and thousands of people, dead people who voted in Georgia. And Brad's like, well, there were only two. And the 60 minutes guy is like, well, you mean 2000? He's like, no, 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 two, two dead people voted in the 2020 election. Yeah, Trump lost by, you know, over 11,000 votes. It's not going to change anything. But honestly, this whole thing with Mike is is getting kind of sad. And if anyone is close to Mike, they should tell him they should cut this shit out before he's out even more money. Can you give us a preview of when the next lawsuits by Dominion will be filed? I'm not here to make news on that front, but let me say this. Mike Lindell is begging to be sued, and at some point we may well oblige him. Yep, uh, if you'd like to waste three hours of your life, go ahead and check out the documentary while you still can. Unfortunately, uh, it is not available online anymore. I actually tried watching uh, and getting more clips of it to show you, but it has been pulled down. But yes, if you'd like to watch the uh, the real, you know, the, the Mike Lindell documentary, uh, yeah, it's three hours. Have fun with that. Leave me a comment and let me know how it goes. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, maybe the like button, and hey, maybe, maybe just leave a comment. You know, I want to know what you're thinking. What do you think about all politics and news and all the stuff that's going on in our country?